Hi everybody, welcome in. Good day to everybody. This is Prophetess Nikki G and welcome back to our channel. Today is going to be one of the greatest days of your life. I decree and declare it. Today is going to be an amazing day for you. Thank all of you for joining the channel memberships. Thank all of you for everything that you all are doing every single day. I'm excited for you. I am so excited for where your life is headed. Your life is headed in a great direction. It's headed in a great direction direction doesn't matter the resistance that you may be facing keep going family I pray that God will open the windows of heaven for you and pour you out a blessing I mean a big old blessing that you don't have room enough to receive family you had asked a question one of my viewers asked a question as to why hell is always after me why is that devil always after me? Why is Satan always breathing down my neck? Let me tell you something. The devil don't bother his own kids. Listen to me. Every person, everybody who is listening to me right now, I want you to understand something right now. If hell is breathing down your neck, if hell is trying to light a fire in your home, if hell is trying to light a fire on your job, in your finances, in your marriage, with your children, if hell is harassing you day and night, first, I want you to understand why hell is bothering you. For one, you don't belong to him. Hell knows that you belong to God. Hell is upset that you are no longer on his team. Hell is upset because you belong to God and you have the ability to repent and get your wrongs right. Hell hates God. Satan hates God. And now he hates you and I because he knows what his end is going to be. This is why you are going to be harassed. I want you to understand this. I want you to receive this in your spirit. I don't want you to be too concerned as to why you are being harassed. It's who you are. Hell is after your identity. You remember this, family. You don't live for your identity when you belong to God. No, you live from your identity. You and I, we live from our identity. Satan cannot repent. And before he bothers you one time, do you know he has to get permission from God, the creator, to bother you and I? He does. But God said he won't put more on you than you can bear. You may think you can't bear anymore. Yes, you can. You can bear it. You can make it. You can take it. You can. Because God gave you his power. He didn't leave you powerless. You are not powerless. The word of God tells us when we see Satan, we're going to look at him and say, you mean to tell me this is something? This is the one that deceived the nations of the world. This is the one that caused me not to rest at night. This is the one that caused me to give up. This is the one that caused me to turn back and to live for him and to turn my back on God. No, family. You are being harassed. You are being harassed. You are being monitored by hell and his imps and his corporates because of your identity. Your identity is in Christ Jesus, not in the world. As a child of God, you don't live in this Babylonian system. Hell knows that you have a mark on you, family. You have a mark of God on your life that says chosen. You have been chosen. And as chosen people, you are going to go through the worst. You are going to go through the most. You are. Because God put you here for a specific assignment. And you're going to have to go before God. You need to pray and you need to ask God, what is your kingdom assignment, family? Satan wants you to turn your back on God, family. He wants you to literally turn your back on God and come on his side. This is why he will bring people in your life to mislead you. How many people have come to your life and misled you? How many people have come in your life to mislead you and cause you to go down a path you shouldn't have gone down? How many people have done that? How many people have entered your life and pretended to care for you and didn't care about you one time? When you got down, nobody was there. These people turned their back on you. Why do you think that has happened to you? 
Why do you think you went through so much hell in your childhood? Why do you think you had to be reared by narcissistic people? Why? Because Satan, hell wanted to use all of that so that you could not become the person that God wanted you to become. Satan has been after your identity your whole life. Satan has been after your assignment your whole life. This is why he brings you distractions in your life. This is why he gets on your nerves all the time. He brings people in your life to mislead your life. He brings liars in your life and deceivers and manipulators that have a form of godliness. You know, those people who have that form, a form of godliness, but they deny the true power within them. You know, those people who are really raging wolves. Yeah, those people who are wolves, but they are wearing sheep clothing. Those people, hell sins in your life. This was intentional that hell sent these people in your life. It was intentional of every attack, every arsenal, every plot, every scheme, every ploy that Satan sent your way. It was intentional. It was. Now you got to be intentional. How do you overcome this? You are already an overcomer. That's the first thing. You are already an overcomer. You can't think you're trying to overcome. No, you are already an overcomer. When Jesus rose up with death, hell, and the grave, my God, when he was seated, listen to me, family, he was seated in power. That means you can overcome. He overcame everything. If you are born of God, you're going to overcome the world. Whoever is born of God overcomes the world. Satan does not mess with his own children. Hell doesn't harass his own family. You don't belong to hell's family. This is why you're being harassed. This is why hell is coming in for you, full pursuit, because hell's plan, hell's ultimate assignment for every believer, hell's ultimate plan for every child of God, every chosen person. Let me tell you something. Hell, main responsibility, his main purpose is to kill, to steal, and to destroy your life. Literally, he wants your soul, but God said he can't have your soul. Just like Job, God told him, you can touch everything Job has, but you cannot touch his soul because the soul belongs to God. You belong to God. And the word of God tells us, I don't care how much heat it brings. Glory to God. It don't care. I don't care, family, how much heat hell is packing. You cannot be plucked. Out of the hand of God, it doesn't matter. You're going to make it. And tell yourself that you are going to make it. This is why you've been harassed. It is. This is why you entertain people that you think are good for you. And you find out a, sooner, or, or sooner rather than later that these people are not good people. Hell sent these people to you. Hell sent all of these people to you. Because he wanted to get into you emotionally. He wanted to break you down psychologically. He wanted to tear your spirit to shreds. So he'll send people to build you up and tear you down. How many people have entered your life and build you up and tore you down? How many? See, Satan knows what that pain is going to do to you. He knows. He comes to give you pain. He comes. He comes to wreak havoc in his life. This is hell's job. This is Satan's job to do exactly what he's doing to you. To cause you as much pain as he can. To cause you as much heartache and heartbreak and disappointment and distractions as much as he can. And it's our job to resist him. If you humble yourself under the almighty hand of God and you resist the enemy, the word of God tells us he will flee from us. You have to resist. You can't play with him. You can't. You can't think you're stronger than him. The archangel Michael. When he was carrying the body of Moses, he didn't even contend with hell. Do you hear me? The archangel Michael, the greatest and the most powerful archangel. The Bible tells us archangel Michael didn't contend with Satan. Do you hear me? Because he knew. You just tell him. You tell hell what archangel Michael told Satan. The Lord rebuke you. That's right. The Lord rebuke you. When you pray. This is why you have to pray in the name of Jesus. You hear me? Because no other name, no other name will you get deliverance. I don't care who you pray to. It ain't going to move. Nothing is going to happen. You pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That name has power in it. 
and the demon, the demons tremble. Hell trembles when you pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Hell will move. Hell will get out of your way. Hell will back up, family. When you pray in that name, there is no name under heaven or under the earth that, ha that has power in it. That will cause demons to flee and to cause demons to tremble. You think about that. Literally think about that. That is a powerful name, isn't it? And you belong to that name. You belong to that person, family of God. You have power. This is why hell is chasing you. This is why hell won't leave you alone. This is why hell is trying to destroy you. But you can't be destroyed. All the devil can do is harass you and to bring suggestions. And this is his job to harass you day and night. It is his job to harass you. It is. It is his job to bring you as much turmoil and sadness as he can. This is why you got to take your life serious. This is why you can't be patty caking with people who you know you shouldn't be patty caking with because it's going to leave when people leave your life. Let me tell you something, family. It's going to leave you torn up. It's going to leave you broken in your spirit. It's going to leave you broken in your spirit. It's going to leave your soul broken. Because that's what Satan wants to do. These are soul ties that the enemy wants you to connect yourself with. And I come against every soul tie that you may be entangled with today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To those of you who have told somebody that you were in a relationship. I don't care what kind it was. That I'm your ride or die. The devil is a liar. I destroy that soul tie. That's a soul tie. And you are speaking things over your life to keep you in bondage. And you're doing it by default. I want all of you today. In the name of Jesus Christ, you think about what you have told people you were in a relationship with. That I'm with you to the end. You my ride or die. You think about the things you have told people that you were in relationship with. Those relationships were unhealthy and they were toxic and they were not called of God. Destroy the soul tie. Sever the soul tie, family of God. Don't try to stay connected. You don't stay connected to people who try to destroy your life. What are you hanging on to hell for to kill you, to steal everything you got and to destroy you? Don't you know that's what hell is coming to do? Hell is destroying you. Don't help hell destroy you. Don't help Satan take you out. Divorce Satan. Divorce him. And let him know that there is no signs of reconciliation. See that devil? Let me tell you something about Satan. Satan is nothing to play with. He has nothing to play with. He wants to reconcile with you. Don't think that's good when somebody don't try to destroy your life and ruin your name. Let me tell you all something. Don't you dare think something of that. People don't think well of you who treated you that way and want a reconciliation. No, we're not going to have no reconciliation. It doesn't matter if they don't even give you an apology. You apologize to yourself for allowing yourself, all of your godness, all of your godliness, to be entangled and ensnared with hell because you were in a covenant connection with hell. You were. But don't beat yourself up, family of God. You had to go through everything that you had to go through with. You did. Whoever you connected with, it was no accident that you connected with these people. They were a lesson in your life. God sent you as a blessing to these people, but they were your greatest lesson. You had to learn some lessons. That's why God allowed your heart to get broken. This is why God is allowing hell to pursue you like it is. So he wants to keep you on your knees, family of God. You got places to go. You do. You have a kingdom assignment that you have to meet. You do. You are a soldier. You are a soldier. So think like one. Think like a soldier and you act like one. This is why you being harassed. It is. Even if your parents, whoever reared you and raised you. You know, sometimes parents are built against their own children. That is so sad. And now you have destroyed your children. Now your children are going to go out into this world and be destroyed by hell. And the parents have the audacity to get mad at their children. They are just like you. Your kids are just like you. If our kids are going to hell in the handbasket, it is our fault as, as parents. We got to take accountability for it. And we got to take responsibility because God tells us to raise up our children in the fear and the admonition of the Lord. The Bible said, train up your children in the way that they should go. How should they be trained? How is, what is the way that they should go in the fear and admonition of the Lord? So when they get old, God said they will not depart from the training. What training? That of the Lord. You can't not train your children. You can't not. 
I'm telling you, family, you somebody, and the devil know you somebody. Hell knows that you're somebody. Satan knows that you are somebody. This is why he is in pursuit of you. He wants you to turn your back on God. He will do just like he did Adam and Eve. He will bring all kind of suggestions to you. Did God really say yes? God really said you can't listen. You got to turn a deaf ear to hell. You cannot listen because if you sit there and you listen, you listen to Satan's suggestion, he's got you. He knows it too, family of God. And he's standing in the corner looking at you laughing and saying, I got them again. I got them now. Don't let that be said about you. Don't let hell talk about you like that, family of God. You're supposed to be persecuted. You belong to God. You're supposed to be talked about. You're supposed to be lied on. They lied on Jesus. They called him everything but a son of God. They gave him his honor when he gave up the ghost. Can you imagine? They gave him the honor that they should have gave him when he was living and breathing. But when he gave up the ghost, when hell opened up the bottom and Jesus gave up the ghost, they said, truly, this was the son of God. But it was too late. Some people will believe who you are when it's too late. Give people their flowers while they're living. You honor people while they can hear you and see you and touch you and feel you. While you can talk to these people. Give people their flowers while they are living. Hell is supposed to come for you because you don't belong to him. Don't you ever forget it. When hell is coming after you, he's supposed to come after you. Satan is supposed to come after you because you are not his child. Hell does not bother his own family. Hell does not try to destroy their own children. You are a child of God. You are from the kingdom of heaven. You're from the kingdom of God. You're in this world, but you're not of it, and you don't belong to Satan. So he wants to destroy you because he hates God. He hates God. And the love that God has for you and I, he hates that. He hates the love that God has for you. This is why you're hated by hell. This is why you're always going through all kinds of things. This is why you feel like you can't catch a break. Stop thinking that way. Stop thinking that you can't catch a break. Because if you say it, this is what's going to be your manifestation. This is what's going to happen in your life. It's going to keep happening. Change. Change the way you're thinking. Change what you're speaking. Change what you're saying over your life because you're going to manifest that. God said we're going to have what we say. Speak life over your dead situation. You have the power to do it. You got to believe who you are. You got to believe your identity. You live from your identity. And your identity... My identity identity is in Christ. It is not in the world. We don't belong to this world. This is why you feel like an oddball. You feel like out of place. You are. You are a stranger passing through. You feel alienated, don't you? You feel orphaned, don't you? You're supposed to because you are not from here. This is not your home. It's not. You're in this world, but you're not of this world. This is why you go through hell. This is why you go through so much. And this is why hell started when you was a little child. This is why hell tried to destroy you when you were a child. Hell tried to mold you when you was a little girl, when you was a little boy. Because he knew all this stuff would be embedded in you. And you would not have a, a good life that he thought. But you met a man named Jesus. And he came into your life. He changed your whole life, didn't he? He transformed your whole life. Glory be to God. It's a blessing for us to be persecuted for righteousness sake. When you are persecuted for doing right, you are blessed, God said. We're not blessed by the money, the car, the house, the career, the company, the marriage, the kids. No, that is the evidence of the blessing. When you have all those things that I just mentioned, this is the evidence of the blessing. The true blesser is God. So we're going to praise God and we're going to worship him. We're not going to worship the gift that he give us. We worship the giver and not our gifts. You're supposed to be persecuted because hell is not your home. You remember that. Hell is not your home. I love you, family. You be encouraged. You be encouraged. You somebody. Some people know you somebody. Glory to God. You believe that you somebody because you're somebody awesome. You're somebody amazing. We're going to talk later. I love you. Thank you for what you do, family. Every day. Every day. Every day. Thank you all for what you do. Thank you. Keep, keep subscribing to our channel, liking our videos so we can reach more hurting and broken people for the glory of God. We are here for, for, for one another. Iron sharpens iron family of God. We don't know everything, but what we know, we're going to share it, right? We're going to share it 
Because I may have gone through something different than you. You may have gone through something different from me. But we're going to learn from one another. Do y'all hear me? We're going to learn from one another. And we're going to become the greatest version of ourselves that we could be. We're going to destroy generational curses in our family. We're going to be that generational curse breaker. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And everything hell took from you, you're going to take it back. And God going to multiply. Have a good day, family. Love y'all so much.